Okay guys, welcome to another video. Once again, we are back at McDonald's to do another creation. And I think it's gonna be a messy one. So what I got here in this hefty, hefty bag is a Big Mac and a teriyaki chicken burger. But since it's after 5 p.m., you can also get an extra patty for 100 yen. So that's what I got, the double teriyaki chicken burger. I didn't, I didn't need a double Big Mac, but I, I could have also got the uh, double Big Mac as well. Um, the thing with this is it has two patties, so it will cost you an extra 200 yen for that. And I got extra, extra napkins. Okay, so what we're building here today, I'm calling it the pterodactyl, as in ter teriyaki pterodactyl, okay? Because it, it's a bird, it's a <laughs> it's an airborne creature. So that's what I'm going with. If you got a better name for it, let me know. But what's, what it's gonna be is I'm gonna take the patties off of my Big Mac and I'm gonna replace them with the teriyaki chicken patties. And somewhere around here, I got some chopsticks to help me do this. By the way, thanks to everyone for checking out the last hack we did, the McFish and Chips burger. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for all the suggestions as well. Over on uh, the Endorsements channel, he actually saw the Fish and Chips burger video and he left a comment and I asked him, like I know he, he sometimes does uh, these kind of hacks as well. I said, have you ever done this hack before? And he said, no. So he decided to one-up me. I just did a single uh, filet of fish hack in my video. Apparently where he is, you can get a filet of fish for whatever price it is. I'm not sure what the price is there, but you can get an, a second one for just a dollar more. Now I'm not sure if that's a universal thing or not. It's not here in Japan. Here we got the after 5 p.m. double system. So I could have got a double uh, filet of fish in that other video, but I, I didn't because it was well, it was before 5 p.m. <laughs> but what he did is he, he got two filet of fishes. Filet of fish? What's the plural? I don't know. He got two burgers, <laughs> filet of fish burgers, and uh, he put them together and he made a double Mick filet of fish burger. So I'll leave a link to his video. Go check it out. A big thank you to him for creating that. And uh, let's see if we can build something of our own here. This is going to be messy. This is going to be really messy. Come on, GoPro, you can do this. You got this. Okay, so I've got my GoPro precariously perched up there. So let me bring you in and see if we can uh, construct this thing without too much of a mess here. So yeah, I've got my Big Mac there. And that's, that's not going to be the problem. The one I'm worried about, which you can see is already leaking out the bottom here, is the double... <laughs> Holy smokes! Wow! Like, I knew what I was getting into, but yeah, <laughs> it's a mess. So let's uh, disassemble. Actually, hmm, what can I do? Okay. I got, I got these chopsticks for a reason, don't I? Keep my hands clean. Okay, so let's try to utilize these chopsticks. Look at that bun. It's just soggy, soggy, soggy. Okay, I'll pop that over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be creating another side burger. Woo! It smells really good. The Big Mac, uh, you smell that pickle there. Okay, I'm probably doing this in the wrong order. I should be building it from the bottom up, right? Let's see if I can slide this off without stealing all the cheese. Nope. Okay, so it's gonna be a cheeseless, <laughs> cheeseless teriyaki burger. Okay, I think, I think we got the system here. So slide this on here. Okay, still got our pickle there, and then slide this on top, okay, it's looking good, and then take the leftover Big Mac patties and the bun and assemble a side burger. Nothing's going to waste in this video, and there we go, <laughs> wow. Basically, it's a Big Mac minus the patties and, well, the cheese kind of stuck to the, the patty, so that's, that's not on here either. But it's essentially a chicken Big Mac. Now, I know a lot of you have had a chicken Big Mac in your areas. It's got the chicken fillets on it, and in my case, 
teriyaki sauce everywhere. We're shedding lettuce. At least it's it's catching in the box here. Let's let's just get into this thing. I mean, it's got to be it's got to be tasty, right? Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Yeah, it has a it has a little bit more height than your regular Big Mac. You know, Big Mac's a tall burger to begin with, but the beef patties are a little bit thinner than the chicken. <laughs> Definitely a mess. <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. So yeah, to build this burger, it co it'll cost you a thousand yen. Um, 480 for the Big Mac and then 520 for the teriyaki, the teriyaki McChicken burger doubled, right? So it's, it's an even thousand yen. And I am getting a good taste of the uh, Big Mac sauce is still on there. Still got its pickle. The regular fixings on the uh, the chicken ter the teriyaki chicken burger are just mayonnaise and lettuce, I think. So here I'm getting a little extra. I've had a lot messier burgers, haven't I? But this thing doesn't come with a, a protective sleeve. It's got a box, so I guess <laughs> actually it did, didn't it? The other <laughs> the other burger had the sleeve. So let me know if you've ever had a teriyaki, wait, teri teriyaki chicken burger, not the teriyaki Mick burger. So here in Japan, they have a standard item on the menu called the teriyaki Mick burger, which is a teriyaki burger, but it uses a pork patty, which as, at least as far as I'm concerned, it's probably the worst item on their menu. But I get it. If you're visiting Japan and you see, oh, they've got this new burger I've never tried before, obviously you want to try it. However, I do recommend teriyaki chicken, you know, miles above the teriyaki uh, McBurger. The, the word they're leaving out is pork, McPork burger. So thanks a lot to everyone for the suggestions. I got a lot of chicken burger suggestions. There's no waste at all, right? We have an extra, an extra burger. So you're getting you're getting two burgers for your thousand yen. So it's just got the, the piddly little Big Mac uh, patties on it with some cheese. Huh, it's looking suspiciously like a McDouble, isn't it? However, as I mentioned earlier, there's lettuce and mayonnaise on top as well. <laughs> so yeah, McDouble, which we don't have on the menu at all here. You can make it if you really want to by doing this um, on a squashed <laughs> soggy teriyaki bun with lettuce. Let me know if you have a, a fun name for this thing apart from the mixed sadness. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Here we go. I mean, it's got the trademark McDonald's flavor still. It's not too bad for a... Uh, you know, still messy, but for a byproduct <laughs> of our main creation, it tastes fine. Mayonnaise and lettuce sort of adds a little something to your, your basic cheeseburger there. I'm going to finish these off and head on my way. I just want to say thanks for joining me here today. Like I said, I'll leave a link over to the endorsements video. Go check that out and see what you think of his uh, McFish and Chips creation over there. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumb up this video, ring that dinner bell, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.